Okay, today is July 16th, uh, 2022, and tonight is the uh, Clovis New Mexico Astronomy Club's uh, 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 July Star Party at Oasis State Park, just uh, north of Portales, New Mexico. Right now, you can see the telescopes are being set up. Zoom in on here. I'll get in closer to see them better. And we got very favorable sky. The sky is very clear, so we should not have any cloud interference with what we want to see. And the sun is about to set. Very beautiful looking sunset. So let's get a little closer in here. Right now we're setting up three telescopes. This one here is just a manual scope. It has to be, has to be manually set. These two other scopes are uh, automatic scopes. You know, they're the uh, automatic tracking and so you can put them on an object and it'll automatically track them as, they, as the Earth rotates. So, uh, we're having to wait till it gets dark so we can uh, calibrate the direction of these scopes. They have to set on three major stars to calibrate their direction. And later on, more people will be showing up. And uh, so, we'll wait till it gets darker. Okay, it's continuing to get darker and more people are showing up, as you can see. We even have a young family that brought their own uh, telescope. They're setting it up. So, this scope will be used for deep space imaging. Understand? We'll be doing mostly uh, star clusters, maybe galaxies. And if we're out here late enough, we'll see the past full moon. It won't rise until nearly 11 o'clock, so you know, much later, if we stay out later, we'll probably observe uh, Jupiter. Oh yeah, Saturn will be also up before the moon is. So keep on watching to see the action. Almost completely dark and more people are showing up, even bringing their own telescopes, so. Let's see here. Yeah, almost a full parking lot. We're continuing to show. So, you got someone driving in providing some lights with it. So uh, you can see what's going out here better. So, this is likely to be our best turnout we've ever seen. I just turned off the uh, video stabilization. That's made an improvement how better you can see so, uh, on the uh, screen. So even though it's getting darker, you can still see things better in this mode. More people continuing to show up and set up their own telescopes if they have one. So where's our turnout? Probably the best turnout we've ever had. So when it gets dark enough, we'll calibrate the scope. So. We have to view, set them on three known major stars so we can calibrate their direction. And then we can start viewing uh, objects and even have kids take turns uh, getting their views. Yeah, it looks like kids are truly getting anxious to get their views, getting uh, lined up and excited. around the telescope okay everybody will get their turn to view it I promise you and you can always come back as many times as you want to look at something um, we have about 29 possible targets some targets may not be viewable uh, tonight but those are just a few we got some I got a long list of uh, good good targets for us to see tonight um, you guys have any questions before we get started yeah, what you got? Do you have constellation books? Do I have a what? Do you have constellation books? Do you know constellation what, books? Do you know what constellations we find are? Oh. Mm -hmm. We don't have those? We don't, bring, we don't have them out here because we don't want to... Uh, normally, we don't have a laptop going on at one of these events because we don't want to introduce any more light than necessary. Got it. Okay. However, comma, um, there's a lot of 
quite a few good smartphone apps that do have that show you the different yeah. you know, what's in them. Yeah. Oh, what was the name of that app? Skymap. Skymap. Sky called Skymap. And uh, you, it shows you what constellation you're looking mm -hmm. at. Now, there are other stories. The constellations, especially the, the ones that we look at in the northern hemisphere, they were invented by the Greeks. And so the Greeks made stories up about them. So there's a lot of mythology that goes with a lot of these, these constellations. And uh, so if that's, if that's interesting to you, you can go look that up too. And um, you can Google search that kind of stuff. But, yeah. Any more questions? Any more questions? All right. Here, what you got? Why not? What'd you say? What's your question, Cassie? Ask your question. Yeah, come on. Say it loud. Question in school in outer space. What about going in outer space? Hmm? Rocket ships? Oh, okay. I don't. I don't know if they know about that stuff. Well, I'll but tell what about you what. You know what? The last month when we were out here. And it was after everybody left. There was just me and Miss Tisha who was out here. We saw a, a rocket separation, and it had a nice blue flare come from it. So if we get lucky, you might see something like that. You got to see a spaceship. Maybe one day you could be an astronaut. And they Heck two yeah! Spaceships. Yeah, the astronauts. Cool everybody. That's a that's a new thing. That, that's you need a lot a, of astronauts to come up. You could be a, 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 a rocket ship pilot. Yeah, that that weekend that we saw that. Um, uh, what was it? Three three rockets lifted up that weekend. Where is that at? Where is that at? Here? It's all across the country. SpaceX lost launched two rockets in, in a weekend. We saw a rocket So, you got any more questions? Any more questions? Was everybody ever? Good job, uh, only time will tell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So I'm gonna. We'll start going slow into the first object. Okay. I'm gonna. I'll, you know what you're gonna. I'm sorry. gonna look at Alvirio right now because I got yeah. that set up. Which one? Alvirio, the double star. Yeah. We can. We can. I can go to that too. Okay. Okay. We're gonna look at first. It's called out as a double star called Alvirio. All right. So okay. Listen up. Listen up. I'm gonna ask you to do something for us. One, two, three, eyes on me. And when you look in the scope, you're going to see two stars real close together. And they're going to have different colors, okay? Remember what the colors are you saw. And then we're going to ask you what colors you saw afterwards, all right? And you'll find out everybody doesn't see colors the same way. It's just one of those things. All right? Okay. We're going to start viewing. Oh no, no, this is a nine and a quarter on, yeah. the, on the, the, the same mount, oh, bigger yeah. legs. So which are right. your, bear, bear hey, Gary, you. where would you like for them to start? Does it matter where they start or can they be split up between you and Roy? Yeah, let's split them up. Okay. Yeah, and I'm going to go to the, the same target you know, that Roy is going to. Okay. So if you're going to come on over here where well, I'm at, I don't have a light on me, but Roy yeah, this, is We're looking over at the here. same thing here, so it's going to be... There we go. Okay. 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 Is that for me? Well, we can't see. That's a manual scope we're going to. We have the kids getting a view to it. So. Oh, you're talking. Yeah. Four. Um... We'll talk about that on the side. All right. Yeah, because um, I want to focus on getting to the target for people to see. Yeah. Uh, I will. Quite a hobby, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. This is a nine and nine and a quarter uh, mirror oh, scope yeah. that, but both uh, Gary and Roy, our president and vice president, picked up in Tucson last summer. Okay. More kids are getting their views that we're viewing Alberio with a double star. Hey Roy, you got that? A continuing long line to get their view in this telescope. Yeah, probably have well over 100 people who are out here for this uh, star party. But this is impressive, just a big turnout we've had. And I hope we continue this. Makes it look so good, and hopefully we'll be able to recruit more members. Chris, keep up the party. 
Here on the screen we have what, M64? What galaxy is that? That's what it is, M64. Okay. Can you see the black eye part of it, the dust lane is right there? <laughs> yeah, kind of dark center, that's where the black hole is. No, it's, it's a dust lane. Dust lane, okay. So, so it is actually directly east of the We've come back. Okay. Here's Portalis. What did you think of uh, where we're at the new web telescope images? I thought it was incredible. It was. They got it's viewed on this uh, scope the here, they the camera, so which displays uh, the, display the image on the laptop screen. At this time, we're viewing the uh, M22 globular cluster, so people are getting their view of it. Okay, right now we have Saturn in view, so I'll see if I can show it on the uh, camera here. Yeah, and that was actually the first time I saw a space station, too. Oh, sorry. I could never I was see in the it. way. I was in Gary Nebula. The Gary Nebula, yeah. <laughs> Really there it is. There it is. Yeah, that's Saturn. All right. All right. Now that's Saturn. Okay. Here we have the M20 Nebula in view. Get closer to the screen. You can see it better. A good mono camera with the with all the filters in your. Yeah. Very good view. Here, right now it's almost 11 o'clock, and most of the crowd has gone. We have a huge crowd out here, and. Right now you can see the moon rising, so very soon I'll should, when it's up, early, when it's up further up, we'll get a view of it in the scope. Right now we've got, the, we've got Saturn on the laptop screen. We now have a camera mounted on this telescope, so. Very good clear image. You can see the rings well. Yeah, even the Cassini division a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Also the uh, past full moon is up. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, above a tree and... And hopefully we'll get a view of it later on. Yeah, here we got a full view of the moon here. It's about three days past full. And almost midnight. Okay, here we got a close-up view of the moon. You can see craters with great detail. Yeah, very sharp. F12, Derek, in case you're Yeah, the moon continues to rise further upward.